all good. We are continuing our journey here at StarCast. A lot of great vendors with so many cool things. I saw this and I'm like, wow, that's scary. <laughs> but over here for you wrestling fans, as a matter of fact, I picked this up last year at C2E2, one of the local Comic Cons, and just overall great content here. So guys, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Dominic Reggio from Mess Bucket Comics. I'm Harry Codson, an illustrator from Mess Bucket Comics. Perfect. And guys, um, what do you have here today for us? Today we have our brand new comic book, uh, Darren McCarty, Life is a Grind, Enjoy My Truth. It's a 180 page life story graphic novel. I'm the writer of it and Eric actually provided the inks and the well, inside cover and the back cover. I did all the inks and the flats. Yeah, that book only took three years for us to do. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, uh, we're really excited about that. We also have our Roddy Piper, uh, Kilted Avenger, talk show, by, talk show host by day, Vigilante by night, Hacksaw Jim Duggan's in there, Bobby the Brain Heenan, Mick Foley, Tony Schiavone, and also Donnie Brooke and the Arcane Awakening, my other comic book series. Awesome. So going back to the new one, the Darren McCarty Yes. One. I mean, you're here kind of in... The Chicago land area, Blackhawks yeah. country, but a right. lot of respect for the Red Wings, you know, all the <laughs> way about. Um, how did that come about? Why, why, why a character like that? Why would he be featured as a as a comic book character? Well, so, as there is a couple pages in the middle of the book where I met Darren in the late '90s. Okay, we're, I was we're at a strip club in Detroit on Eight Mile, and uh, we heard of me and my college roommates talking about Final Fantasy VII, which was a uh, a great video game, uh, a yeah. very nerdy game. And oh, we're talking sure. about how to breed a gold chocobo, the right way to do it. And he overheard <laughs> us, sat down and talked with us. And we ended up emailing him the instructions. And so back then I knew that Darren was a total nerd like I am. And when I approached him, would you like to have a comic book on his life story? He was like, I could tell he was trying not to look too excited. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's just do that. <laughs> awesome. So, but his life story is is wild. I mean, he um, it's all over the place. He's been in and out of rehab, uh, many uh, marriages and divorces, and uh, roller coaster ride. He had a, a, a rock star lifestyle. He was, actually was in a band, and he, he partied with Zach Wild from. Uh, it, it's crazy. So his his life story was perfect. Also, he was a nerd that wanted to do it. So that's kind of why. Okay. And it's all about nerdy stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what you kind of connect with. Right. I think it's kind of like what StarCast is, you know, for the most part, right? Yeah. We all enjoy wrestling and it's all, wrestling all these nerds. other things. And, you know, bringing in the whole comic element yeah. is just like another thing, too. Speaking of wrestling nerdy stuff, take a look at Eric Hodson's uh, awesome. art over Yeah, here. let's it's check amazing. this out, man. Yeah. This is some great artwork. I started doing this stuff a better part of two decades ago, and uh, it led to the opportunity to do the Roddy Piper book. And uh, that's just, it's just snowballed from there. I started with the, uh, the Brett the Hitman Hart one, where he's uh, in the Amazing Spider Man 129 cover. So that's the like first that. appearance of the Punisher, which is a perfect fit for the Hitman. Yeah. And uh, gosh, it just took fire with the fans. They loved it. I got people rolling into my DMs and whatnot. I was, oh, you should do this. Oh, this would be so cool. And it just really clicks because. Wrestling is a live action comic book, you know? We got heroes and villains and anti heroes and whatnot. And, yeah. Uh, and heels and baby, it, it, all, it all works. So I work very hard for this gimmick to uh, make sure that the lightnesses are right, make sure that the cover I'm choosing, if I'm using one, is appropriate for the storyline of the character. And, uh, you know, it's, it's spawned some copycats, so I must be doing something right. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> so, Brett the Hitman, your favorite wrestler? Or who, do you one, favorite? Yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, before Chris Jericho, there was Brett the Hitman Hart. That was my number one. I get it. And Jericho's the GOAT now, but I mean, yeah. you know, I still want to be a kid getting the sunglasses put on in the audience. Oh, for sure. Walking <laughs> around with wet hair, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So, guys, if anybody wants to um, find you or follow you on social media, where can they find you? Well, the easiest thing to do is follow Mess Bucket Comics. And then for me, for my art, it's at Dreaded Dinosaur. And that's all same in all the social medias. Perfect. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for your time. A lot of cool stuff here. Make sure you at least give them a follow. Look at the stuff online. It's absolutely amazing work. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you. All Make right. sure you like, follow, and share this video. That's right. Uh, we're going to do that as well. <laughs> all right. Tag everybody that you need in this. It's Jeff here at StarCast.